What's going on guys, today I'll be going over the Red Dead Online Christmas update, including all of the free items and the few scraps of new content we're going to be getting over the next few weeks. Now right off the bat I want to say that this video is probably going to be very disappointing to all of the active Red Dead Online players, as for the first time in basically since 2019, we're not getting a Christmas DLC. Rockstar would normally update both GTA and Red Dead Online with a DLC around this time in December, give all the players something to enjoy over the holiday period. However, that is not going to be the case, and only GTA Online will be getting a DLC this year. So I am going to be working on a separate video talking about what happened to our winter DLC, but today I'm going to be focused on what we actually are getting in Red Dead Online. Alright, so first up, we're getting snow into Red Dead Online coming next week. Rockstar said to expect flurries in the forecast and celebrations with decorations at your campsite, Moonshine Shack, and also the cobbled streets of Saint Denis. Sounds like we're getting basically the usual old Christmas um, cosmetic updates here. There'll also be carls and musics, season greetings from Crips, Harriet, and Gus. The rank lock restrictions will also be lifted on the double barrel shotgun, which will allow anyone to get the seasonally appropriate Krampus shotgun variant between December 14th and January 5th. Next up we have some double rewards on bounty missions and call to arms maps, so from any time from now until January 5th you're going to be getting those double cash rewards and then for call to arms you'll be getting double character XP and then for bounty missions you'll be getting that double roll XP. Now this right here is pretty much the only new content we're going to be getting into Red Dead Online around the Christmas period and Rockstar are adding four new call to arms maps between December 21st and the 5th of January and they are Coulter, Rhodes, Hanging Dog Ranch, and Emerald Ranch. I personally am looking forward to playing these Call to Arms maps, I do enjoy this game mode probably more than the last Blood Money DLC, I enjoy these maps more than, and I think that's probably why Rockstar are adding these again. We had some, you know, around the Halloween time, we were getting some new ones around Christmas time. Obviously it's not a whole lot to keep us playing, but it is something I guess to log in and enjoy for a little bit at least. If you're looking for a gift for any friends or family this Christmas that are interested in becoming content creators, be sure to check out my book on Amazon, So You Want to Be a YouTuber is basically your unofficial strategy guide on becoming a YouTube partner. And you can even preview it for free before you buy. I also wanted to comment on this part here, if you complete any of these Call to Arms maps, Rockstar will be giving you a useless coupon for 50% off any weapon in the game. You know, maybe if we had any new weapons in the past year and a half, this would be an interesting offer. Moving on, we have a huge bonus on Trader and Moonshine sales. These are both going to be double Red Dead Online cash, which is going to be extremely lucrative if you guys find yourself needing some cash. You know, in the last few years, I would have been very excited to tell you guys about double money on both of these roles, but at this stage, I'm just, I just can't be excited for this at all, guys. If you want to make some serious money with this bonus, make sure you are rotating with other people with your trader sales as you'll be getting a ton of money from just being in the posse with someone when they're selling their trader load. My Discord is linked down in the description, we have chats for every single platform. If you're looking for people to rotate with, I quite often post in there when I have a sale going too. Next up, for those who enjoy showdown modes, Make It Count and Last Stand are dishing out 3 times Red Dead Online cash. XP and double gold, and then you also have Gun Rush, Gun Rush Team, Spells of War, Up and Smoke, and Overrun that are paying out double rewards. Next up, let's go over the Christmas bonuses and offers. First of all, you can get yourself a free emote by going to any saloon and ordering a drink. You'll be getting the good to see you emote. And then we also have a variation of other free incentives from logging in in different time periods that's very confusing over this winter. So first of all, if you log in between December 14th and Christmas Day, you'll get 25 Capitale, an accessory. And then if you log in between December 14th and 29th, you'll be getting the Winter Evans Repeater for free. If you log in between December 26th and January 5th, you'll be getting 10 sticks of Volatile Dynamite, 20 Fire Arrows, and a reward for a free Weight Loss Tonic. And then last of all, you'll be getting a reward to clear your bounty in all states to start your next year off with a clean slate. Now this one's quite interesting, I don't believe we've ever really had a bounty refresh in all states before in Red Dead Online, so I'm wondering if during this Christmas period we're going to be having a lot of griefers building up their bounties since it is going to be refreshed next year. 
This next paragraph I thought was kind of funny as it basically sums up what a lot of the player base actually thinks of the future of Red Dead Online, which is the future is looking grimmer and grimmer. So from December 28th to January 5th, if you bring in player bounties alive, you'll get 2,000 Bounty Hunter XP or Cold and Dead for $200. If you deliver any legendary or infamous bounty, you'll also receive two Hawk Moth Bolas. Rockstar also giving out a free winter shotgun coat to anybody that logs in between December 28th and January 5th, so basically the over the new year period to get that reward. And then the last major part of the news wire to go over would be the discounts. We have 5 gold bars off the Bounty Hunter licenses, 50% off bolas, 40% off all novice promising and established Bounty Hunter roll items, 30% off the Bounty Hunter wagon, 40% off roll weapon variants, 30% off ammo, and then we have 40% off Breton horses, sniper rifles, and single bandoliers. So guys, that was definitely one of the longest news wires we've had for Red Dead Online in a very, very long time. And it's quite amazing how we've had such a long news wire with just such little substance in it. Nothing is new in this article, except the fact we're getting four new Call to Arms maps. And I'm sorry guys, I hate being overly negative in my videos, but today's news wire is a joke. This is just so insulting to every Red Dead Online player. You know, this has been one of the roughest years for Red Dead Online. We've had the most awful DLC in the summer that didn't do anything for the player base and basically gave you a day's worth of content. And we've all just been waiting around for this winter DLC, hoping Rockstar will kind of turn the game around. And they don't even tell us it's been delayed. You know, clearly this update has been delayed, probably due to the GTA trilogy and the GTA 5 remaster and other priorities at Rockstar. But they didn't even let us know. You know, they kept us hanging all year and then just give us this slap in the face of a news wire today. But yeah, hopefully this does mean that we get some kind of winter DLC early next year, perhaps in January or February. If you do want to be the first ones to know about any future news and updates for this game, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll catch you in the next one.